friends and welcome back to FPGF Fever. Today I along with my friend Vineet will be taking up some more programs on the LCD interfacing. In our previous video lecture we tried to interface the LCD onto the Spartan 3A kit. As promised today we will play more with the LCD. In our previous program we simply were displaying the characters uh, by sending the address of, of characters which are already stored in the predefined character set. Today what we'll be doing is, we'll uh, give some inputs and uh, we will be showing the manipulations of that input onto the LCD screen. We'll take a simple program wherein we'll give a set of inputs and we will check how many bits of the input are high. And we will count the number of high bits and display the number onto the LCD screen. Let's take an example that we give an input of 1010 uh, which is a 4 bit input. So as you can see there are 2 high bits in our given input. So we want to display 2 onto the LCD screen. Now let us take you to the main program directly. So this is the sub module that will be called onto our LCD main module. I will be explaining you uh, how uh, by this program we can count the number of high bits. So here our module name is count1 and we are taking the input in the variable called as data and storing the output into the final which will be sent and called in the main module. So let's get into the always uh, block. Uh, whenever the data will change uh, the value will be called and uh, we'll first initialize z as 0 and uh, the loop for will learn from 0 to the number of bits uh, which will be inputted. For example, if you are inputting a 4 bit input data, then I will run from 0 to 3 and be incremented every time. So, as I said, uh, let's take an example of 4 bit input data as 1010. So, this loop will run 4 times because it is a 4 bit input data. And uh, as you can see, that if we sum all the bits, that is 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 it will automatically give you the number of high bits that is 2 this is the main idea behind our logic as you can see we have also added an additional line where is that is final is equals to z plus 48 actually what happens is addresses that are stored onto the predefined character set are actually the ASCII values of the equivalent character so in order to convert our output which is 2 here into its equivalent sky we are adding 48 here so that when this value is called that is final is called in our main module it takes uh, the DDRAM directly to its equivalent sky address so that's it this program will help you to get the number of uh, high bits uh, in a given input data I will be handling to Vineet uh, who will be explaining you the LCD module? Hello, friend. This is Vinit Dube. I am going to tell you how we can call that module count one in the module top. <clears throat> so, before going to the this part of program, uh, I should request you to go to the LCD interfacing part. A, then you can easily understand what I am going to do in this part. So, now I am going to tell you additional changes what I have made in this LCD top module. First I am calling the count1 count module which is counting the number of 1 in our input. You can see in count1 module we need two ports final as a output and data as a input. So we will we will send data to the uh, from the top module which will be given by the user and that data will go to the count1 module and as a output at final it will come to the LCD top module and that final we will going to display on the LCD and rest of the part of the program is same as what I have explained in the interface LCD inter interfacing part A. You can see I have taken final as 8 bit. I have told you that we are going to send data in the form of nibbles. We will going to send first higher nibbles then to lower nibbles. So I am going to tell you other changes what I have made in the program. You can see most of the part is same. 
as that I have explained in the LCD interfacing part A. In the part A, I have written FPGA fever. In in this in this program, I have written number of ones equal to. Then I am printing the data what I have what I want to print on the LCD. These values of n, u, m, the address of predefined address of these values you can find from the user guide of Spartan 3. So here are the two line LCD code for case 40, 40 and 41 is sending upper level and level, uh, lower level of the output. And I am giving one zero. I have told you if you want to send any data, then you have to send two plus higher level two plus lower level so this higher level and lower level is 8 bit if you if you see this is the 8 bit number which is coming from the this count module in the count module we are getting 2 bit data and then we are adding 48 in, the, in, in that 2 bit data to get the sky value of our data that's why we are sending first higher, higher level then lower level so and rest of the program is same like uh, LCD interfacing A so now I'm going to implement in, in, implement it on the Spartan 3 and we will see the output so friends we have successfully implemented our program onto the FPGA board and we are giving the inputs using the four switches which you can see right next to the LCD and currently all the switches are off so the LCD is printing number of ones as zero now as we will be changing the inputs to high it will show the equivalent changes onto the LCD for example we are changing the first bit as high so you can see that the number of ones is getting equals to one then two and then three and four so this is the final outcome uh, whenever we are changing the input uh, depending upon the number of high bits it's showing the output onto the LCD thank you for watching this video please subscribe our channel and keep watching like comment and share if you if this video